Hey, what's happening, people? It's Manic here with another video, and today we are talking about director Zack Schneider's plan for his DC Universe. Now, if you don't know who Zack Schneider is, he is the guy behind Man of Steel, Batman v Superman, and most of Justice League. He's credited for Wonder Woman and Aquaman and probably Suicide Squad. But yeah, after he left DC slash Warner Brothers, uh, he basically uh, leaked all of his, like, sort of plans, like, most of his plans for the DC Universe... Uh, for his DC Universe were leaked, like, there's a, there, he was planning on doing a five, five chapter story arc for Superman within, you know, like, five movies, uh, the three being Batman v Superman, Man of Steel, and Justice League, not in that order, and he, j he had a ton of plans, he was gonna kill off Batman in Justice League 2, he was gonna have the Atom in, uh, Justice League 1, and yeah, let's get straight into it. So, to kick things off with our first piece of information, and our latest piece of information that we learned from, uh, through Zack Schneider, or one of his, uh, one of his co-workers, is that he would have killed off Batman in Justice League 2. Now, we know the whole setup of Zack Snyder's, uh, Justice League universe, his whole DC universe, was that they were gonna build up to Darkseid, uh, especially in the first movie with the whole Steppen Steppenwolf's invasion. And in the second movie, they probably would have faced the dark side, and then Batman would end up getting killed, probably through sacrificing himself, you know, for the greater good. Like in the uh, famous story Final Crisis, where he, Batman attempted to break his one rule and kill Darkseid. That's probably what Zack Snyder was going for, though after hearing this information, like, a, there, there was some backlash for it. I heard, I've heard more negative things than positive things about it, but I honestly would have been okay with it just because Ben Affleck is, uh, doesn't have that much time left to play Batman. We don't really know when's the next time, when he'll play Batman next, or if, even if he will play Batman next. But I think this this concept would have been really cool seeing uh, the pages of Final Crisis put in put onto the big screen, which I thought would have been really awesome. And yeah, our second piece of information, probably the worst piece of information, uh, Zack Schneider uh, originally planned to kill off the Grayson. Now in Batman v Superman, we saw a Robin uh, like mantle. We saw a Robin like great not grave. We saw the Robin suit in the Batcave, all destroyed by the Joker, and, you know, everyone was spec speculating, oh, it's Jason Todd, like, it wouldn't be Dick Grayson, but apparently, Zack Schneider's plan was to kill Dick Grayson, so that Batman would have a vendetta against the Joker, causing him to become, you know, a, a more hardened vigilante, and, you know, who actually kills, giving him a reason to kill, which, uh, the whole... Ben Affleck Batman killing thing is an entirely different video, but I think killing off Dick Grayson is the stupidest idea on the planet because Nightwing would literally be like the DC's version of Spider-Man. He'd rack in so much money, the character would get so much praise and comic books would sell just like that, but no. Now, this is just a bit of a side, uh, side information. Uh, the Atom, Ray, uh, not Ray Palmer, Ryan Cho, was originally going to be in the first Justice League movie. But I guess he was scrapped. Um, it would have been cool to see him in the movie, or at least just a reference to him uh, working with Silas Stone, Cyborg's dad. But yeah, that's just uh, some information we got. And then finally, which is probably the biggest piece of information and would have been the coolest, is we were supposed to get a five chapter Superman story arc, which we already got the first three chapters within uh, Man of Steel, Batman vs. Superman, and Justice League, you know. And we'll never know what the final two chapters are going to be like because we don't really know Henry Cavill's whole situation with Superman. As I said in the last video, we don't really know, like, his message was cryptic. He signed up for the Netflix series The Witcher. And, yeah, uh, I'm assuming it would have gone like Man of Steel, you know, that's his, that's the birth of Superman. And then Batman v Superman, you know, his death, of, the death of Superman where he's, you know, not in the greatest uh, situation. Then his rebirth where, you know, of course he comes back to life back and better than ever and you know the original superman and then i'm assuming um in justice league 2 uh his limits would sort of be pushed even farther because batman would be dead or batman would be you know would possibly die and superman might go crazy and start killing everybody and then we don't really know what chapter we don't really know what chapters four or five would really be it's really all up in the air and up for speculation we'll never know unless Zack Snyder decides to re release his entire vision for his DC Cinematic Universe or ladies and gentlemen that's gonna do it for this video and in the comments below tell me what you think of Zack Snyder's whole plan DC Universe the five story Superman arc the whole bit killing Batman in Justice League 2 just all of it in the comments below make sure to like the video if you enjoyed the video and subscribe if you want more of my content and I just want to say thank you guys for the positive
positive feedback and reception on the last video. I really enjoyed doing that. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video. And I will see you guys in the next one. I've been so alone ever since I left the tribe That's just how it goes cause I like the lonely vibe But they'll never know cause I'm always on the grind